Pisces friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, August 26th to September 8th, 2019. Just as a quick reminder, Pisces, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Definitely watch your other signs. For you guys, I am using the Hermetic Tarot. I'll show you guys the box. And I'm also going to be pulling you Queen of the Moon Oracle cards. Stunning. The Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Spirit, Pisces. Pisces, August 26th through September 8th, 2019. Pisces, that did not flip up, so we are not going to look at it. Pisces. Your cards feel perfect. Let me know if you guys like this deck. Black and white, I don't know. I just kind of like it a lot. Four of Pentacles. Let me fix this light for you guys. I'm thinking it's okay. The Moon. Two of Pentacles. Strength. They call it fortitude. Four of Cups. Two of Wands, Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, Overall energy is the Ace of Wands. Wow. Very nice. Bottom of the deck. Right, the Hanged Man. Okay. Let me grab your Oracle card. If you follow me on Facebook Live, oh, there's two of them there. Okay, cool. You know the cards got a pop for me. Okay. So, but the hangman, for some of you, you know, needing to spend some time alone, needing to go within. Listen to your intuition. That's definitely... Oh, wow. The High Priestess definitely listened to your intuition. The 
The Six of Cups. And then the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Six of Cups. They do depict Scorpio. The High Priestess. And the hangman. So, some of you are waiting to reconnect with someone, or you're waiting on closure of some kind, or some kind of messages to come through. You could be reaching out to someone from your past or over the next two weeks. Or someone else is making that decision. You know, because this could go both ways. You know, maybe you're realizing, you know, that because of the hangman, that could represent someone that is gaining perspective is seeing things from a different perspective you know there's definitely enlightenment coming to you pisces and i mean your overall energy is the ace of wands so something might be occurring to you like you might have this exciting brilliant idea like this is this is a new exciting new beginning that's coming into your life. This could be something that you're very passionate about. Others of you could be starting something. It is a very creative energy. I definitely see some of you spending time alone thinking about this creative idea or this passionate new beginning. Those of you that are married, coupled, I mean, I feel very strongly that it is going to be an exciting two weeks for you guys, big time. Others of you definitely could be meeting someone new. Someone from the past comes back. And there's that instant physical attraction. You do also have fire sign energy here with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you also have strength here as well. So maybe a Leo for some of you, female. Could be a Leo, female. So, you know, any fire sign could... could could be important. Someone could have fire in their chart. You know, with the Four of Pentacles, if you're meeting someone or someone from the past is coming back, and there is this physical attraction with this person. If you want it to go anywhere, Pisces, you're basically going to have to surrender with the Four of Pentacles and the Hangman. Like, you're going to just have to literally let things go, let things happen, just kind of go with the flow. Because with the Four of Pentacles, you know, you might want to hold on tightly or have control over certain things. So you are probably going to have to let go and see things from a different perspective. The moon I 
I mean, you, let go and see what happens. You know, but also with the moon, you don't know everything yet. Everything's not known. You know, you have the high priestess. That could be, that the high priestess, that could be someone that's been on their own for a while. And that could be you. And then for others of you, this could be a woman that you're dealing with. And sometimes she could be unattainable, very hard to get to. Well, and then you also have the Four of Cups. Which is interesting. You know, it is emotionally feeling bored, wanting more for yourself. I mean, it... it does say at the bottom of the card, Lord of Blended Pleasure. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But you want more for yourself. And, and it's lonesome energy, feeling lonely. And with the moon... Literally, I mean, that, that's a strong indication of feeling very lonely, emotional, wanting more. But you're thinking about the future. Sorry. You're thinking about the future. Lord of Lord of Domain, you know. Ever, you know, you hold everything in your hands. I feel like those of you that want love in your life, or you want something to progress again, I feel strongly you're gonna you're gonna have to let go, surrender, and see what happens. Especially those of you that have been on your own for a while and feel a little lonesome. Something is definitely being presented to you and some of you might be like, no, thank you. I'm not interested in that person. Or I want more. It's definitely someone that's not seeing the potential. You know, with the Two of Wands, the Four of Cups, maybe... Maybe, you know, Pisces, you might not be looking close enough. Or with the moon here, something is hidden. You don't know everything yet. And I feel like it is it is so important for you to just go with the flow. You know, the Two of Wands is ultimate potential. You can allow this Ace of Wands to fully manifest and grow if you want. It's something that is coming in for you if you want it. For the majority of you guys, this is love. And for others of you, this Ace of Wands is going to be just an exciting new beginning. And it could be a new job. Maybe you weren't happy within your current position or the company that you work for. And so this is absolutely, with the Two of Wands, all about, you know, planning for the future, passionate about the future. And, you know, I think a lot of you are literally realizing, literally, you are not happy. You're, you're just not. There is a new moon in Virgo on the 30th. I could have something to do with it. The new moon could be important for you. I said that to another sign at the moon. 
in a totally different deck. You know, actually, those of you that maybe weren't happy with your current position, the company you work for, it's all about planning for the future. It could be some of you are actually realizing literally that you're just not happy over the next two weeks. You know, I think some of you, maybe you just feel a little bit too comfortable. Sitting right in this, they are depicting Pisces here. In the moon, which is very interesting. It's one of the decks that. I think there's two decks, so don't keep in mind, I, don't, I have a lot that depict Pisces. I actually forgot this was one of them. And with the Two of Pentacles, you definitely have some decisions you need to make. Because I feel definitely, you know, you're stuck in this same cycle that you've been in for a long time. Or going through something for a long time. The Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. There's decisions that need to be made. You know, and, and really with, with strength. Being strong and letting go. Step in, and, and stepping out of your own comfort zone, Pisces. It could be regarding love as well as a job. Some of you, maybe you've been single for a while and it's and it's a comfortable lifestyle. But if you do want to, you know, to find love, you do want this to progress, you really do need to step out of your comfort zone. If it's work, you weren't, you, you weren't happy. Or really any situation where emotionally you want more. Take a step back. You know, look at the larger picture. At what it is that your, that your heart truly desires, especially you female Pisces. You know, Queen of Wands, especially if you have Aries Leo Sag in your chart. Taking back... To, not even taking back your power, maybe with strength, but, but I feel with both of these cards, literally taking control and taking matters into your own hands. And she's a manifester, a go-getter. She knows how to make shit happen, Pisces. Very creative. Very creative. But again, some of you definitely might need to go off, spend some time alone, go within, listen to your intuition. You know, along with strength too, patient, definitely needing, definitely taking your time with this because, again, there's secrets, there's things you just don't know. Take your time with your, your decisions, your options, keep, really, keep looking forward. Because you absolutely have options here, Pisces. You could, you know, you could be a female that just went through something and you're in the process of, of healing. You know, it could be that you're taking a break from a relationship. Some of you could be taking a break from a relationship and while you're separated from someone, there could be a very strong attraction with someone new. You know, the High Priestess, Six of Cups. Well, the High Priestess definitely could be the other woman. And the Six of Cups is someone from your past. Definitely an interesting reading, Pisces. 
And again, you know, guys, if it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. Those of you that are very emotional, you guys do need to go off, relax. I really do feel, for some of you guys, really spending time alone is needed. And Pisces, it is going to help you so, so much. So you guys have extra, uh, uh, look at this shit, creation. Wow. Creation and wisdom, just like the high priestess. Where the hell did she go? <laughs> oh, she's under here. All the books that she's sitting on. Wisdom, knowledge, learning. Both of these cards, I don't know. I just feel like express it through writing. You know, and I get that from the high priestess. I do. I don't know why. Probably wisdom too. Holy shit. I can't make this up. I just realized that. That's why. Listen to your intuition. That was totally intuitive for me. But she's standing on books too. That's crazy ass. Listen. Listen. I can't even believe that. Yeah, I could. Wow. I guess when you... Stop getting excited about what you do for a living. You're not passionate about your job anymore. She's standing on books, and the high priestess is, is, is sitting on books. That's incredible. Listen. Express it through writing. Stories that inspire and enlighten you. And, wow, with the Ace of Wands, wow. I see some of you writing. It's creative energy, a creative spark for some of you. That is beyond amazing. I, I can't even think of another word except ama amazing. You're going to be ecstatic. So some of you, I feel, are going to be spending time alone. And someone is writing a book. Or you're actually realizing that over the next two weeks that that's something that you want to do, which is very nice. But I'm telling you what, I strongly, I never have gotten this in my life. I strongly feel somebody is right, is that, that is extremely creative. I can't even hold these cards, I'm so excited. Whoever this is for, if you're writing a book or in the process of it, I want to hear from you. Because I'm going to throw down free cards for you. Free cards for you. Listen. If you're in the process or starting, this might be for two of you, Pisces. It's going to turn out absolutely, absolutely amazing for you. You might be stuck in your creative endeavor endeavors right now. At the bottom of this card, it does say Spirit of the Mighty Waters. You're stuck. Don't let someone from the past get in the way of you. I don't feel like it though. I feel like you're reaching for the stars. You're going for it. Listen, come on. I, you can't make this up. They're both on books. Someone's definitely writing or publishing a book. And it is someone that is extremely creative and passionate. And... It's going to be absolutely amazing for you. What a great reading, guys. People, a couple people it's for. Leave your leave your messages because that's just amazing. Four of Swords, you're definitely, definitely taking a break and contemplating this. The Hangman, you definitely are. Mm. 
amazing. Guys, I love it. I love your reading. It's absolutely amazing. Especially if you're writing a book. That's some shit right there. That's a, There's a reason two cards, two oracle cards fell out. And it, it makes sense. Amazing. I love you guys. If you follow me for Facebook, I'll see you Wednesday. Those of you that don't, I'll see you back here soon for your monthlies. Bye.